Now with breaking news. This is a News Channel 5 special report. Reed, W-I-L-L, Reed, R-E-I-D. I'm the Assistant Chief Engineer over Operations for TDOT. All right, first off, thanks everybody for coming out. Appreciate y'all being here. Uh, we wanted to come to you today to let you know about how some things are fixing to change in a, uh, again on this corridor 440. Um, there's, we're fixing to have some significant traffic uh, changes to the traffic patterns. Most of the work that's gone on to this point has happened largely outside of the travel lanes with a few exceptions. If you'll recall, we let this project contract last summer. We've been doing a lot of work, as I said, outside the travel lanes. Starting at 9 p.m. tonight, between Belmont and West End, the traffic will be, the laneage will be, will be reduced to one lane in order to put out barrier rail and some additional striping. The idea there is to get barrier rail in such that we can ultimately work uh, on the median inside. Okay, so we'll start with westbound first from Belmont to West End starting tonight at 9 p.m. Before Monday morning, we will have that entire stretch, both eastbound and westbound, in a two-lane in each direction condition with traffic pushed to the outside. Okay, so traffic will be pushed to the outside, separated by barrier rail, such that we can remove the, intern the median, the grass median, and begin working on taking out the concrete pavement on the inside. I want to make sure and caution folks that, as I said, traffic patterns are going to look very different than they have to this point. When, you, when we neck traffic down like that, the interchange is coming in, your ramp merge conditions will be significantly different. So please pay attention to signing, pay attention to, to the fact that the speed has been reduced uh, within the limits of the project, and also plan extra time for your commute. Your commute will be impacted by these changes. We want to make sure and stress that, that the commute will be impacted, okay? Um, one of the other things going forward is uh, we're going to take an aggressive approach to managing incidents on this corridor. The fact that we've got it narrowed down to two lanes, if there's a fender bender or something even minor in the way of a traffic incident, that can have a big impact on traffic backing up. We're going to have help assets staged through, throughout the corridor as well as uh, Metro Police and Nashville Fire have been part of this process uh, throughout developing a incident management plan for this corridor. So we have a plan should something occur, but just know that one of the best things you can do is if you can find an alternate route, you should do that starting this weekend. Okay, if you can find an alternate route. We worked with uh, Metro Nashville Public Works to uh, look at the signal timing on all the cross streets or the parallel routes as well to ensure that as traffic begins to pick up on those, we can adjust signal timing if needed and, and be able to manage that. But the best thing that you can do truly is avoid this corridor, okay? Um, this first phase of the traffic shift to two lanes, this is only part of it. By this spring, we will have the entire corridor down to two lanes in each direction with traffic moved to the outside, such that, again, we can work on the median and the inside lanes of traffic, okay? Please uh, check out our website. Uh, it will detail the future phases of the project and when those other pieces will go to two lanes. But as I said, starting tonight, 9 o'clock, Belmont to West End, We'll go one lane in each direction until we can get the shift set up, and then we'll be two lanes by Monday morning, okay? Once, once that shift has happened, to kind of give you an idea of what's gonna go on, crews will come in and begin to remove the median, but also remove the concrete pavement on the inside lanes. That will be noisy work, and it will be 24-7 operations, okay? So just wanna let people know, again, that to, to start to expect that in the coming weeks.